Good morning, everyone. Welcome back in. Well, as parents, we can often get caught up in the hustle and bustle of life and parenting and forget some of the important things that we should be teaching our children. Dr. Wayne Fleiss, a clinical psychologist at Children's of Alabama, longtime guest here on Good Day with a refresher this morning. Good morning. Good to see you. You know, we never forget to tell them to clean their room. That's not something we ever forget. That is but true. But there's some real important things that we do forget, and that's what we're talking about today. Yeah, and I guess it, it depends on ages as well, too, because you're talking about some things that really need to be established early on. Right. So the first thing we're talking about is actively teach values. You know, a lot of parents just assume kids will get it. Um, and they don't talk about values until the kid does something wrong. Mm. But when you look at the world around you, you see there are a lot of people out there who don't have the values that you want. So you want to think about teaching these values on an ongoing basis, proactively, positively, living them yourself and modeling them. Because they live by them. example. Yeah. Right. And also praising the kid when he does the right thing. And talk about these values ongoing. I love this one. Put yourself in the future. Think about how you want your child to look back on his childhood. Right. That a lot of adults, and I know you know this as a psychologist, deal with that in their adult lives because of a difficult childhood. Right. You know, and, and we often focus on the short term, you know, get this done, get this done, clean your room, things like that. We don't stop to think about how is he going to remember his childhood mm. and want to make sure that he has a lot of love that he remembers, wonderful messages about himself and the relationship with you, mm -hmm. and that you focus on those things. It's not just the getting everything done, but creating the atmosphere and, and the relationship and the messages that you want him to have. I love that because so many kids don't have that, right. uh, that from their parents. Live in the now. Enjoy yeah. your child. It, it's Great so advice. easy just to focus on what you have to get done, but stop and step back and enjoy parenting. Enjoy spending time with your child. Put away the electronics and actually have fun with your child. Mm -hmm. It's not about getting everything, everything done. It's about raising a wonderful child. I, I've, I've told people many times when my son and his friends are playing on their headsets, you know, video games, and I'll hear them be really loud. My sister goes, gosh, do you, does he, do they do that all the time? And I'm like, yes, and I love it because I know one day it's not going to be there. Right, you exactly. Know, it's that sweet part. So develop good communication yeah, early. And start early. You know, communication is such an important thing in solving big problems, especially as it gets older. But start the communication early. Talk about values. Talk about feelings. And just have open communication so you have this foundation built so that when problems come up, you can communicate with your How child. How much do you say share with them? Because I know a lot of families, a lot of parents go, I'm the parent. You don't need to know about that. But isn't that phrase even something that makes a kid kind of wonder what's going on? So obviously there's certain things that are too hard for a child to understand or to deal with, but you do talk about feelings. Show that sometimes you get upset or that things frustrate you, and then you can model the coping skills for him so he can see how to co cope with these things. Okay, and the final one here on the list. Um, continually and constantly let your child know through your actions and your words how much you love them. Mm. We just assume they know this, but don't assume that. Keep saying it. Keep showing it. There, there are very few things that are more important than this, that he grows up knowing how much he loved and how wonderful you think he is. Man, that is so important. All right, Dr. Wayne Fleissig, thank you so much. Good to see you. All right, we'll be right back.